As we transition to rolling out iPlan, staff will start utilizing more features within iPlan. We are excited to share there is a simple form within iPlan that we will start using to document extended school year services. The extended school year eligibility form can be found in iPlan. If you need help accessing iPlan, please contact your child study secretary. Once in iPlan, select the student, click on Other, scroll down to Extended School Year. There you will find the Extended School Year Eligibility Form. The form is similar to A16A and A16B. The process has not changed. The form is different. The annual IEP meeting is when extended school year eligibility should be discussed. Now let's take a look at the form. You will notice the form has listed the three areas of eligibility, regression recruitment, self-sufficiency, and unique needs. You decide based on the data how or if the student qualifies for extended school year. Then you can simply add the goals to the boxes. You could add the skill if they qualified under self-sufficiency or you can add what services will be addressed if they qualify under unique needs. The final box to pay attention to is a box that asks you to describe the extended school year program and include goals and types and amount of service. The form is pretty straightforward. If you have questions, please ask your child study secretary or attend an optional informational meeting. The meetings will be held at the district office on February 19th and February 26th. As always, if you have questions, contact your special education coordinator.